Al Haji Ali Udanisi, secretary of the South South Traditional Rulers Forum, has advised Nigerians to be innovative in whatever leadership position they hold to uplift the country to enviable heights in all spheres. Danisi, who is also up by Idanisi the second Adonoki of South Ibia Kingdom, gave the advice at the launch of a book entitled Disruptive Leadership A Necessity of the Now. You should be an innovative leader. You should not be a slave to procedure. You should not be a slave to, oh, this is how it's being done. The fact remains that life changes every day. Few years back we were analog, now we are digital. Few years ago we have landlines, but now there's a telephone in everybody's hand, wherever you are. Things are changing and we need leaders who can change, change things as life progresses. We cannot be static or else the train will leave us behind. So the fact remains that like I have told them when I gave a short speech inside, is that not only do we need disruptive uh, leaders, we also need disruptive electorate. Because it's the electorate that elects the leaders. If the electorate is disruptive, they will be able to identify those leaders who have the competence to be disruptive in their leadership role and elect them. The book is authored by the 82 pioneer graduates of course one batch of Master of Philosophy in Leadership and Strategic Studies of the Nigeria Defense Academy. The book launch held in Abuja during an award and dinner ceremony was organized by the authors of the book. In his address, the Provost of NDA, Professor Adams Ahmed, said the book centered on promoting awareness on the importance of knowledge sharing about leadership to achieve meaningful growth in all spheres of life. Awareness. Awareness, awareness, awareness. More education, more education, more education. Yeah, because if people are aware, if people have the education, um, education can take you to, to your dream. Education can take you to any height in the whatever sectorial area you look at. Awareness can take you to any height, any height to be able to achieve those things that are positive and those things that are constructive. So we should spread the education. Leadership problem is uh, cut across the continent. It's uh, transborder. It's intercontinental. Wherever you go, you have a pr problem of leadership, either deficit or overdose. It depends on the perspective one will look at it. But however, because some of them have, you have seen that have, that have undergone this course, the MPhil, Master of Philosophy in Leadership and Strategic Studies, they've gone, they've gone programs, they've gone courses, they've gone training that will assist them in doing better what they've been doing because that's actually the target of the program. The program is that whatever you are doing, you, you can do better from the theoretical and practical perspective. I agree it's elitist because it's not every Nigerian that is there. But the leaders, like you know, you have listing, you get the team, you train the leaders and the leaders are good and impact it on the society. Dr. Bem Audu, director of the Center for Leadership of NDA, congratulated the 82 persons who graduated from the academies made in MPhil Leadership and Strategic Course 1. According to him, successful completion of the Course 1 qualifies the graduates to enroll for their doctorate degree in Leadership and Strategic Program in the academy. What they did is MPhil, MPhil in Leadership and Strategic Studies, which is a qualifying degree for PhD in Leadership and Strategic Studies. MPhil is for those that are switching from different fields to come into Leadership Studies. Because they don't have that background in Leadership Studies, they have to undergo a, a, an MPhil program for them to be qualified. Some of them have professional master's degrees. And for a professional master's degree, you're not qualified to do a PhD. So they need that MPhil to qualify them for a PhD. You know, PhD is purely academic, but some of them have professional masters in their various fields. The book reviewer, Professor Shahid Zakari, explained that the book is made up of 72 chapters and a total of 1,282 pages in two volumes. The Leadership and Strategy Study Program 
under the directorate of linkages and collaboration of the Nigerian Defense Academy, have upgraded this quality in all the participants, which reflected in the compilation of this book titled Pers Perspective of Leadership and Security in Nigeria. The book is made up of 72 chapters with a total of 1,382 pages arranged in two volumes. The volume one of this book is divided into three sections. History, leadership and governance, military leadership and security issue, then strategic leadership and development. The volume two also has uh, five sections group under sub teams like leadership and conflict management, leadership and international relations, emerging issues in leadership, corporate leadership, then indigenous leadership and local administration. The event attracted governors, ministers, lawmakers, the Director General of National Youth Service Corps, Commandant of the NDA, Andrin Had Eckhart.